Number 1. Parliament Hill The Parliament buildings, in all their splendor of Victorian Gothic sandstone, are quite an imposing sight on the 50-meter-high Parliament Hill, Colleen du Parlement, looking out over the Ottawa River. The Parliamentary Library, at the back of the building opposite the entrance, is a wonderfully furnished octagon that was untouched in the 1916 fire. You can explore the sprawling historic center block on a guided tour, and the public can also attend a question period when the government is in session. Number 2 Rideau Canal The 200-kilometer long, but only 1.6-meter deep, Rideau Canal connects Ottawa with Kingston on Lake Ontario. Sometimes also called the Rideau Waterway, it was originally intended as a strategic route between Montreal and Lake Ontario, the military need for which was demonstrated during the war with the United States in 1812. In summer, the canal and locks are an active waterway. Fun things to do include taking a Rideau Canal cruise aboard one of the many tour boats that ply the water here, better still, splash out on an overnight cruise of the canal. Number 3 Canadian War Museum Located beside the Ottawa River, the strikingly modern Canadian War Museum, Musée Canadien de la Guerre, explores Canada's military past. Exhibits cover everything from the fighting between French and Iroquois people in the 16th century through the Canadian contribution to the First and Second World Wars. There are also displays relating to the role of modern peacekeepers. Number 4 National Gallery of Canada Ultramodern and designed by Moshe Safdie, the National Gallery of Canada, Musée de Beaux-Arts du Canada, is an architectural masterpiece with prism-like glass towers that echo the lines of the nearby Parliament buildings. The glass contrasts with the mock medieval Chateau Laurier, yet the attraction still fits well into Ottawa's cityscape. Number 5 Peace Tower The panoramic view from the observation deck at the top of the Peace Tower, Tour de la Paix, the highest point in Ottawa, encompasses Parliament Hill, the entire city, the river, Gatineau, and the hills to the north. On your way up in the elevator, you will get a look at the tower's bells, and there is a memorial room to Canadians who died in World War I. Number 6 Canadian Museum of Nature The Canadian Museum of Nature, Musée Canadien de la Nature, takes visitors through the world of the dinosaurs all the way up to today's animal population and also features poignant temporary exhibits. It is the National Natural Sciences and History Museum, and the historic building, once the Victoria Memorial Museum, is the birthplace of Canada's national museums. Construction on this castle-like building was completed in 1910. Number 7 National War Memorial The National War Memorial, Monument Commemorative de Guerre, and Canada's Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is at the foot of a striking bronze sculpture of World War I soldiers emerging from a granite arch. Around the base of the statue, which is also known as the response, are the years of conflicts where Canadian forces have fought. Number 8 Diefenbunker Museum Canada's Cold War Museum is located outside of Ottawa, in a large underground facility that was constructed in the early 1960s to protect important functions of the Canadian government in the event of a nuclear war. This was one of several self-sufficient, shock-resistant, radiation-proof underground shelters built across Canada during the Cold War as part of Project E's Experimental Army Signals Establishments. Number 9 Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica Opposite the National Gallery, Notre Dame Cathedral is a beautiful Catholic basilica consecrated in 1846. It is particularly noted for the interior mahogany carvings by Philippe Perizot and figures of the four evangelists, prophets, and apostles by Louis Philippe Hébert. The stained glass windows are particularly fine. The series of 17 windows picturing scenes from the life of Christ and the Virgin Mary were completed between 1956 and 1061, the work of Montreal artist Guido Nin Sherry. Number 10 Royal Canadian Mint While the Royal Canadian Mint, Monet Royal Canadien, no longer manufactures Canada's circulating coins, the Ottawa facility creates finely crafted medals, commemorative coins for collectors, and awards in precious medals. These include Olympic medals. The tour is fascinating, especially on weekdays when you can see the craftspeople at work. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.